Hello everyone, today I just wanted to do a very quick video reminding you of what you need to do after you move into your new home. So a lot of people forget to do a couple things. They forget to update their addresses at very specific places and I feel it's important that I share this video with you so that you are not unprepared for when it's time for you to update your address and move into a new home. So most people know you go to the post office and you do a forwarding address and you change your stuff there at the post office. But does it in there? No, it doesn't. But a lot of people forget this. So some common places that are forgotten where you need to actually update your address is, and I'm gonna go through this list for you. I've got, I've got a couple of them written down here for you. So post office, yes, you know that. You gotta go to the post office, do a change in address form. They will forward your mail um, for a certain time period. But they do that because you need to also change your address a couple other places. So you need to change it at your bank. You need to let your bank know you have a new billing address. You need to let the credit card companies know that you have a new billing address. You need to let your loan providers know for maybe your car loan, wherever that is, that you have a new address. You're also going to need to do possibly, <laughs> my dog, you might possibly need to go to like Social Security Administration, the IRS, the DMV, you got to go and get it changed on your driver's license. A lot of people are bad for that. Um, I'm one of them. I moved back in June of 2023 and I still have to go to the DMV. So I guess this video is for me as well as for you that I need to go to the DMV and change my addresses. You also need to, hopefully you've done this already before you move in, you need to set up your utilities and that will be a change of address. So you're gonna stop the utility bill from where you were and change it to where you are. You know, no more past, only present and future. So you gotta go and get your utilities changed. Also, you'll need to do your, your water provider, your trash provider, that goes along with utilities. You need to figure out you know, where you're stopping the service and where you're starting the service. You gotta get that changed. Also, your internet and cable providers. For me, I went from uh, Time Warner, I'm sorry, it's Spectrum now, my bad. I went from Spectrum to moved out in the country and there was no more Spectrum. So I had to cancel Spectrum completely and change my address to a new service provider out here in, you know, Eaton. So that's, that was me. Um, you're also going to need to contact your doctor's offices for health insurance, your auto insurance, uh, homeowner's insurance. That should be taken care of um, for your purchase because that'll all go into your paperwork that you're signing at the closing table after you bought a new home. But you also need to remember if you had renter's insurance previously, maybe with a different provider, you need to cancel that and, you know, or flip it over, whatever you got to get your new address on there. Um, also, if you have a magazine subscription or a newspaper subscription, you need to change your address there as well as any streaming services for billing address purposes. Obviously, they're not going to care as much, but maybe they send stuff out that you don't want to miss in the mail, which will be forwarded for a while, but not permanently. So you'll need to update your address there. Um, if you had uh, any monthly subscription boxes, girls, if you have Ipsy or whatever else is out there right now, or men, maybe you got some type of, I don't know, hunting box coming to you or just, you know, beard oil. Uh, that was one my husband signed up for for a while. Make sure you change your subscription boxes um, so that you don't miss your boxes and they don't go to your old address and then possibly get stolen. I don't know what she's doing. But also your doctors and specialists, your pharmacies, all these places are going to need to be updated so that you don't miss out on anything. And she's just having a good old time back there. Your employer. Your employer is someone who will need your updated address, so don't forget to change it with your employer. Your schools. Now, if you're switching school systems for your kids, you know, obviously that's going to be take care of. You're going to do the withdrawal process at the previous school and you're going to enroll at the new school. But be sure to reach out to your schools and give them the proper address. You're going to want to tell your old school your new address as well, just in case they need to get a hold of you for any reason whatsoever. And last but not least, the most important one, and among other categories, Amazon. Don't forget to change your address on Amazon. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes you're so used to just clicking buy it now. Um, and it has your automatic address. And I've heard this happening more times than once, <laughs> that a client has moved to a new house 
did a buy it now, didn't realize it, got delivered at the old house, and they had to go through a whole process of retrieving it. So Walmart, Target, all of the stores that you shop online, <laughs> all the stores you shop online, be sure to change your address. That way you avoid any headaches you might come across by not doing so. Okay, guys. Well, I'm Katie Masters. I hope this video was helpful. I hope my dog was entertaining, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye. Ember, <laughs> Ember, what are you doing? Uh-huh, okay, bye. <laughs>